Okay, I want to show you two things in this video that are going to be crucial moving forward in the class. One is where you put your reset, and two, what is the point of the one shot rising? Okay, so I set up a basic, a real super basic um, counter circuit here. So I have my input that's counting up to four, and this could be whatever. Now, the C5 here, or the, the counter five done bit, will activate this green pilot light right here. Okay? Then I have my done bit automatically resetting this. And then I have an identical rung uh, from one, except I put a different output in here. Okay? And I'll make this a red light. Okay? So I'll come over here, right click, make this a red light. Now, Let's take a look at what I've done here. So I've made this a momentary uh, start button. I no longer have my reset one in here. And then I have my, I put two as a normally closed, okay? And the reason I made this normally closed is so I can have memory off this done bit. And I wanna show you two problems that are gonna happen when we download this, all right? So feel free to pause it and put this in your own program if you want to. Um, to follow along or uh, just watch what I'm going to do here. So again, these are both true right here because they're normally closed. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to activate this uh, four times. One, two, two, three. Now watch what happens here. A couple of things are going to happen. Four. First thing that happened is you see here my accumulated went back to one. That's not great. We'll show you how to fix that here in a second. The other thing that you'll notice is that this pilot light, this green pilot light latched on where my red light did not come on. You can see my green over here. I do not have a red over here. Well, why? It's about how the PLC scans because what happens is when this, when this goes done for that split second, it comes down here, turns on for one scan, okay? This activates this locks in the memory. Then the done bit goes true, resets it, then it comes down here. This has now gone false, okay? And so what that does is that creates an issue where this will never turn on. This will never have the ability to turn on. So let me show you how we solve that problem, and then I'll show you how we solve this one. So we're gonna go to the program, and it's a real simple fix. We're going to take our reset and we're going to move it right above our counter. Okay, this is really important. No matter where your counter is, a best practice is to always, 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 always put your reset right above your counter. So if, you're, if your counter was in rung 28, put your reset in rung 27. Okay, in this case, we just have to have our counter at the beginning. Now, there's no difference between this and these smaller lab circuits and this. My reset is still technically above this because it'll scan, 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 then come back up to here. It's circular, so this technically is above it. But just as a best practice, let's always try to do this. So I can now move this up to here if I wanted to and it would work exactly the same, okay? But let's go ahead and run this real quick. Download, run, and we will come over here. One, two, four, okay? Sorry, I was already at one. You'll notice that now both are turned on, okay? So scan is important, and this is our first example of how a scan, how, not understanding how the scan of a PLC works can cause some major, major problems, which we don't want, okay? And so this, this actually does solve the first problem that we have, okay? The second problem is I cannot get to zero, okay? All right, and this again is a way, this is an issue of scanning because it's when it's resetting, that button is still activated because it scans so quickly. So how do we overcome that? Well, if you've watched my counter lecture, you'll know that we need to put a one shot rising in there. So we're gonna to go to program. We're going to go back to the instruction panel. 
and we're going to grab the one shot rising and drag it down right in front of the counter here. Okay, we're going to come here, type in B3 colon zero forward slash zero, hit enter. And um, now we are ready to download this and see what happens. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. Um, clear all data table files. Okay. Oops. Um, come over here. We're going to download. All right. Come here, put this back into our program mode. And now watch what happens. One, two, three, four. Both of these have now turned on and I have gone back to zero. And that solves the two most common mistakes that people make when they are dealing with counters. One, it's about understanding how the scan works. And two, it's understanding how the one shot rising, one, that the one shot rising is available. And two, how it works and how we program it. And this is a super cool feature. All right. So uh, we'll go ahead and start diving into the labs in the next video.